On today's video we look at the President Randy 3 and what effect a telescopic extending antenna will have on the radio. We take it out to sight and do some tests compared to the rubber duck antenna and we also put it on test alongside an old 1980s TRC-1001 radio. Try and get a little bit scientific about this. Um, what we've got here is we've got the President with the rubber duck on a tripod at this level and then in line with that we've got the field strength meter and we'll just try the um, I'm going to do this experiment with me uh, at the same position as well so I'm crouched down and press the PTT and we'll see what field strength the rubber duck antenna gives us so with the rubber duck antenna we're on 27 megs FM and we'll press the PTT and there's our field strength just over 30 now what we'll do uh, is we'll change the antenna for the telescopic antenna and see if that increases the field strength. Right now we've got the telescopic antenna on and you can see there we've got an extra 10% of field strength on the uh, antenna at this distance. Now we've got the TRC-1001 in the same position and uh, we'll see exactly what difference uh, there is with this radio. This is uh, only doing 3 watts at the minute this radio so there will be a notice noticeable difference in uh, in power I would have thought so let's try it. And as you can see there the uh, I'm clutching the side plates as well for anyone says the ground plane quite a considerable difference in field strength so interesting to see how this equates to uh, performance out in the field. But bearing in mind this is running a watt less but it's still quite a quite a, a low, much lower uh, uh, field strength from the antenna there. Right, we've come out to a uh, field. We're about two and a half miles away from Mick. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the rubber duck on the Randy and just see what the difference is between the rubber duck and the telescopic antenna and the realistic radio with the, uh, the really long telescopic antenna. So let's give that a go. Hi there Mick, uh, I wonder how you copy me there. Go ahead. Yeah, this is Mick returning. Quite quite good audio, Paul. Not as strong as you were a minute ago, but it is there. I can fully read you, and there's just a little bit of white noise, but good audio and one bar on the signal meter. Okay, Rog, you're giving me four bars, and uh, what we'll do now then, uh, we'll, we'll swap over to the telescopic antenna on the President, just one sec. Right, the wind's getting up now, it is autumn, so here's the Randy with the extended whip. Let's extend it and see how big it looks. Right, there she blows. Okay, that's not, not too bad, is it? We'll see what difference that makes with Mick anyway. Right, Mick, I've, uh, I'm using the telescopic antenna now. I wonder what difference that makes, Rog. Yes, that has improved it quite a lot, Paul. You're, uh, you've come up to two bars on that one, up to two bars. The audio is good and less white noise on it as well. So that's, uh, I would be pleased with that. Yeah, you're, uh, you're much louder there, Mick, as well. Much, much louder with me. Four bars on here for what it's worth. Oh, that's excellent. I think that does make, uh, make quite a difference, doesn't it? Um, I'll just turn and face your direction a little bit more here now. And so yeah, I mean it's quite light as well. I'm going to make, I've made a little support piece um, on the 3D printer just to support the base of the antenna where it connects to the BNC. But um, it's sounding okay, is it? Yeah, it's sounding very good actually. <laughs> I would be very pleased with that if I was on a portable antenna and uh, coming through like that for, but it's definitely good. Two bars, good audio. Very little white noise that time. Okay, Rog, what we'll do now then is try the realistic, which runs at three watts, not four, but it's got a similar length antenna, and I've just tuned it up, okay? So uh, stand by and we'll put that on. Look at this beast. All tuned up, ready to go. Like I say, this is doing three watts. We'll see what difference this bad boy makes. Right, we'll uh, try Mick on this beast. I'm not sure whether it's going to be worse or better. We'll try. Okay Mick, I'm on the TRC-1001 with its 20 foot long antenna. I wonder how you copy there, Rog? So, it's nearly the same as the last couple of overs. The, uh, the audio has come up a little bit, but there is an awful lot of white noise on the signal as well, Paul. 
Uh, okay, Rog, cheers for that, mate. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure how it was going to do. Um, like I say, the radio is 40 years old, isn't it? So, uh, but it did. It, flew, it went through uh, the, all the tests properly and everything. It was absolutely great. Uh, but I think um, just the extra sensitivity, um, perhaps. I mean, I think the actual antenna on the president is pretty decent um, for a rubber duck. I think that just just uh, just proves that. I think, Rog, and um, I'd say you're about the same the same received audio as on the president there. Rog, go ahead, and you're using just just four watts. Is that correct, Mick? Yeah, that is correct. But your your audio, I can I can read it. But it's, it's the white noise that's annoying, Paul. It's the white noise that's uh, on a bar. It's on the same volume as what your audio is. Uh, and it's killing it a little bit. Otherwise, it's very good. And uh, But you're not so much on the signal, neither. You're back down to one again. One bar. Ah, uh, Rog, OK, mate, yeah. Again, like I say, it's just the age of the thing, I think. It is ab absolutely spot on frequency, though, so we should be all right. Well, we'll go back to Mick in a second, but that's uh, a little bit surprising. Um, I wonder how it compares to the President with the rubber duck, though. I'd say it's probably the same. So it's looking like this um, telescopic antenna is making quite a good bit of difference. So uh, we'll just drop it back to the rubber duck and see if that, that's the same as the TRC-1001. Right, we're on the TRC-1001 with the rubber duck now. Oh, okay, Mick, uh, we're on the, we're on the uh, President, sorry, with the, with the rubber duck antenna. How does this compare to the realistic, Mick? Is it, uh, is it about the same signal? Signal strength is about the same, Paul. But your audio is not quite on par with what I've had earlier with the, the telescopic antenna on. So, um, but you're fine. It's readable, but not up to the same. But it's, it's better than the, the last radio you were using. Ah, uh, Rog, yeah, that's, that's, that's probably to be expected then. So it's looking like the, uh, the, uh, the telescopic antenna for the President is definitely uh, a goer, isn't it? That's, uh, that's superb. If people can stomach the extra length of it, uh, but in certain situations, depends on where you are, it might be the difference between you making it through and not. Right, I hope you've enjoyed that. That was quite interesting. Um, we've had, we're going to do some testing with both of these radios and uh, see how we get on. Uh, and do some terrain tests with the president and see what kind of distance we can get. It might be of a different terrain that we get better performance out of the realistic. Um, we'll just have to do some testing and see, but uh, overall I'm really, really pleased, as you probably know, with the, the, the President Randy. Although it's an expensive uh, radio, it's a, it's a really good performer and um, for you know, an extra sort of 60 quid, I know it sounds a lot when you're spending that on a walkie-talkie, you get so much more for your money. Hope you've enjoyed this one. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.